So there's not really a overarching plot in Brigandine. I think so, yeah. I think it's the longest running Zoblock game. That sounds right. Um, the plot is variable depending on which race or which nation you play as, I should say. And it's non-linear. Changes depending on the order in which you attack countries and that sort of thing. We left off in a battle. Okay. Let's see if I can figure out what I was doing. Uh, basically, in this game, you have a set of human leader characters that are generally more powerful, that can't perma-die. When they die, they get sent back to base and respawn after a couple turns. Um, and in addition to the leader characters, you have a bunch of monsters that are associated with each leader, which can die permanently. You can also capture enemy monsters. Defeating the enemy leader human character disables all of their monsters immediately. So there's some incentive to try to focus down the enemy leader instead of going for the, the monsters along the way. But there's not really a right decision, so to speak. Sometimes it's better to focus down their, um, their monsters so they can't kill you. Hmm, gotta be much closer to do the damage I wanna do, unfortunately. I can do healing word, but it's not going to be quite as good. I'll let them march a little closer to us. Your prophecy is not good. It has some interesting things to discuss. <laughs> I've heard Indigo Prophecy has got really good reviews. Um, when you said it wasn't good, I was surprised. But yeah, no, that's fine. Also, there's no quality control on sublock. You can put any game you want on there. It doesn't need to meet the normal rules of higher than a 75 on Metacritic. Make sure you play the right one. Oh, uh, okay. Really? It's got to be one of the very few games that are banned on Twitch. What's it banned for? Nudity or something? Or violence? Maybe you have her heal and sort of move, let's see. Oh, she does have a angel nuke, though. So yeah, let's move her closer. Maybe she'll build use her angel nuke next turn, let's see. Seriously, that's it? Wow. But heavy rain's allowed, isn't it? Okay, so that will hit all the enemies that I'm worried about hitting, so let me do that. Is it like, you know, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, the whole, we're gonna show everything, full penetration, smells crime, back to the lab, more penetration. Given the graphics, it's not particularly graphic. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why that even merits an adults only rating in the first place. Does it feel gratuitous in the case of the game, or does it feel like it fits? I think the use of nudity in, um, what was it? Heavy rain felt pretty reasonable. That makes sense. I guess you could skip it too, right? Well, they ran away, which works. I don't remember if they all ran away. Well, they, we must have killed one of them because they left one of their monsters behind, which we get to recruit for free. Yeah. Riot captured. Would be romantic and not salacious. Gotcha. That seems fair enough. Alright, so <clears throat> in between the tactical battles, you have a strategy segment like this one where you have a large world map 
and you decide where to send your soldiers. And after that organized phase, you actually determine who you're going to attack with it. Remove memory card. Not. Bill and Ted wrote the game UI for this. Um, we took their home castle, which has got to be pissing them off. Oh. Don't really have a great location to hunt them down, though, because they're right up against purple, which is our biggest threat right now. I've got blue covered on our borders, so we have some garrison locations. I think I sent people here to be able to summon angels. Yes. Probably sent them here to pick up angels. Let's see. Oh, I only have one person. Well, I'll give them some angels. Here, take some angels, bud. And go somewhere else. So, like, the number of characters he can bring with him is based on his rune power, which is that blue number. And the cost to summon or include them in your party is that cost number in the bottom right corner. So it's meant to balance the units. You can't just, like, stack the best units with every character. To my knowledge, it seems like... Angels are one of the best units in the game because they can do a ton of AoE damage and they can heal. Really soreness, wow. And what makes you want to add this to stuff like if you feel so negatively about it? Just curious. I put more than one scorpion in this group. No. I only have 12 more room power, so that's it. Did you like uh, Heavy Rain by comparison? Okay, do I have extra other units just sitting around somewhere that can go pick up some angels is the next question. Not here. We can send the guys that don't have anybody doing anything. Ooh. Would be Rod and Cortina. And they're going to this rando angel castle. Next time two's getting an expansion, that's exciting. Is it going to be like Enemy Within, where it's modifying the entire game, it's worth replaying it from scratch? Hmm, okay. I've been there before. Games that start off great and then just the last act is so bad that it kind of calls into question the rest of the game up to that point. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Sounds good. Heavy Rain has a... There's a scene in that game that I think makes the whole game worth playing. I think you have to play the whole game up to that point for that scene to work. Remove memory card. Not. I think these are my super friends in here, right? Can I summon any new monsters that are interesting in this castle? Not really. Jins are kind of cool, but not cool enough to be worthwhile. Since I'm sending a bunch of people here and I have a bunch of ma extra mana, I may as well make more angels. There's an angel factory. I don't think we want to send anyone to Quest at the moment. We actually have other more productive places we want people to be. I'm curious who's in this castle right now. Oh wow, a bunch more units, okay. Um, hmm. I guess if we deliver angels to them, we can spread the love a bit. So 
going to do execute. You have to choose targets to attack. What you want to do with all three of these. See if they attack me too. That hasn't really happened so far. Right? That's us. Good. Cannot kill me. I'm already dead. The Goth Wizard. Proud to fight beside you, Lance. Nice, sneaky time. Let me, let's see, what's the best way to do this? I think I should let them come to me, kind of. I can also try to nuke them at the choke point up there. Although they probably have units that can move over the water, so I shouldn't count on it too heavily as an effective choke point. I shouldn't have passed with my uh, mage character earlier. Be okay, it's gonna take them a while to get down here too. They get angels too. Only the one though. We want to take that out quickly, if not the main leader character. All the way up. I do have a merman character, but the problem is getting him uh, up to the river. He's so slow, and battles tend to be fairly quick. By the time I get him up there, I don't think he's able to do anything. Maybe if we started where they started, where we were right next to the river in the first turn. We do have quite a few flying units, so the river's not going to be that big of a drawback to them. Be somewhat careful. So I think we want a lizard man on the bridge to protect our mage. Hopefully we can get some AoE nukes in next turn. I didn't know my lizard men could walk on the water. I guess it makes sense, but... Take it, I'm not complaining. Magic. Holy word. Hits one of the human characters. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a lot more value out of it than that, so let's just cast it now. Also gets her a bunch of XP. Welcome, she hit. This one's friend and foe, unfortunately. Yeah, it's really cool. It's got a lot of interesting ideas. I haven't really played a game like it before. If I put her on that square, they'll be able to reach her. I should probably leave her where she is. Lowers defensive attack, moves into me elsewhere, then I'm just pass. Sucks to pass, but sometimes you gotta. Oh, that's cool. Cute little ranged attack there. You gotta try to kill the enemy angel if possible. I think we'll be able to without too much trouble.
Yeah, this is a good one. Um, I think it's got a lot of replayability too because you know, each time you play it, it's actually kind of closer to Civ in certain ways. It's n not at all like mm -hmm. Civilization, but in the sense that you pick a starting nation from a set of nations, the map is different each time. Um, the way the map is going to play out is going to be different each time. It's not like Final Fantasy Tactics or Tactics Ogre where there is a preset uh, story that you're playing through. Heroes of Might and Magic does it too. I didn't know that. I don't know. Get someone over to start murdering angels. Before it can use its AoE attack. Nice little up. If I use Holy Word this turn, who am I hitting? A lot of dudes. Not the dude. I'd like to be able to hit all three of these meters. Um, but I gotta kill that angel, so it's probably fine for this turn. If I can clear some of those enemies out, maybe more of the high value targets will move in closer to the choke point. That's pretty good. Or merman. Next turn, maybe. Refer them to squares. Have you done uh, tabletop RPGs with hexes before? Endless, is that a series of games, like from a single developer? Really? I thought Civ was always a hex game. Shit, it must have just been that big of a deal in 5 that it became a meme. Nice counterattack. Flame hits astoundingly a few targets, it turns out. She can do another holy word and hits almost everyone. That's beautiful. Doesn't hit the enemy in theater who's a healer, but. No, not. Not in the context of the one you started me with. My perception of civilization before I had played it was that it had always been X based. But it may have just been that I was intercepting the. Anti hex, pro hex memes from Sif 5's release. Let's try her. She can cast Venom Curse, which is really good damage with a single target. Alas, she's not close enough to target one of the people she needs to be able to hit for it to matter. Um, a little bit here that's missing. One, two, three. Venom better range, it's not really there. So we can just kill this ghoul. I'd run a better position next turn. Oh, that's too bad. It's like not hit points. Oh, we paralyzed him though. I'll take it. Squad Axe, Geno Flame, also doesn't hit any of the human characters, but does potentially take out more of the other guys, so it might be worth casting this try. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the universe. Interesting. Range of holy words is nutty too, and now we're hitting two leader characters. Oh. 
all the deeps. Come on, 100 damage. Ish. Nice. Living the dream here. So standing still for the Lizardmen is not as critical as it is for some other characters. I do want to protect my back lines a little. But I'd also like to do something productive. Are these... One of the giants is almost dead. Let's just do that then. I leave an opening for one of the enemies to come through, but I'll probably deal with it. Cool. And now he retreats. <laughs> That's too bad. I was hoping to get a kill off on one of them. I guess that means we push them further and further back. But... I don't think I'm going to be able to do enough damage to Lance to kill him. He probably He's uses MP to heal himself in his turn, too. I wonder if this guy's supposed to be, like, the main good guy or something. To the extent there are good guys in this game. I guess they're going to try to take me out with them before they retreat, which seems correct. I see a game that's trying to do, like, let's look at the evolution of this genre that tries to do something like that. That's a cool idea, though, Cluster. Back to organized phase. We have to look at the state of the map. I think purple defeated orange at one point, which is good for us because we're not fighting purple yet. And the AI is not very aggressive. I think we've only been attacked a couple times. Yeah, I've never actually played Evil Land, but I saw it at a PAX and it looked pretty cool. Um, let's see. So at some point we kind of want to let purple push against them a bit. Let's just not do anything. I feel like we could try to take the outer parts of the map. It's probably safest. Um, I have to start being careful to leave behind a, a garrison though. Yeah, because these guys could freely take this one if I leave it behind. But I could go up to Go Rule, Alarim, Solstheim, Time, and then my <clears throat> empire is contiguous and completely surrounding purple and whatever's left of orange. So I think that's what I want to do. Um, let me pick up all these angels that I summon. I just need to play Eternal Sonata. Sounds like a really good game. Delivery Force. Oh, I'm gonna be getting three characters over here. Interesting. I'm not bring power. Interesting. Probably summon some scorpions or something to go with them. I mean, the cell on Eternal Sonata is awesome to me. It's in Chopin's Dream World, Dreamscape. Angel Factory.
need to find where I can get more wizard men. I think angels and wizard men are. If I only had two units in the game, that's what I would go with. Angels are great for DPS, the lizard men are great for just taking damage because they have really high mobility and they do okay damage and they're fairly defensive. So we don't need to leave people here. We can send them to help garrison this new castle and just capture them. Not screwed up this time. Dying syphilitic dream world. Hmm. Make sure I don't have any wasted soldiers sitting off garrisoning castles that are behind my front lines. For... Jukes. I can see the merit in trying to push through down here, but that's going to be hard, so I'm not going to do it. Phasard, we don't need to protect, so we can move all these guys forward, and there's a bunch of them. I guess I could send them over to... Let's see, who all is off this castle right now? Alright, so the people who don't have angels, I could send them to the angel castle, stock up. Or I could just, you know, say they have decent armies right now and move them where I will. Moving doesn't happen until an entire round is complete, so I'm instructing them to move that doesn't actually finish yet. Questing until I have them protecting us. It does, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like you alternate between strategy segments and tactics segments. Oh, I didn't know there was a co op mode for Eternal Sonata. So I've had them all, I've given them their instructions to move, try to do what I was saying, <clears throat> connect my empire top, I'm sending my heavy hitters up this way, and hope for the best. Oh, it's Tails like? It's like action RPG? Interesting. Come to me. Very Japanese. That was a really bad thing. Oh, interesting. I really like Valkyria Chronicles approach though. Let's see more games try something like that. It sometimes felt a little bit wonky in that game, as much as I liked Valkyria Chronicles. Like, the whole idea that you had to... If you were in range of being shot, you had to quickly end your turn. Otherwise, you'd take more damage than was necessary. It was a little janky. But I don't know how you would do it differently. Limit the amount of damage you can take when standing still or something. I don't know. Separate from your confusion about the plot, actually. An archer character, you can aim their shots. Oh, that's cool. So you can fire multiple shots during the window.
It's like during your turn you actually have as much time as is allotted to do what you want to do, it sounds like. I'm gonna try to get my frontline lizard nun up here. And angels, really. They can tank some hits, and they gotta be close to use their best damaging abilities. You missed. Oh, really? I'm quite close. Hmm. Building up the battle system and making it harder. I don't think I've played a game that's done that before. I'd have to think about it. Just like the actual mechanics of the game change significantly as you progress through it. I mean, MMOs, but I don't think that's necessarily by design. Or at least there may not be intent there. That's good. Man. Yeah, goofy shonen anime doesn't typically bug me. It just depends. Succubus is pretty buff too, which will probably take some damage if she needs to. Uh, I was hoping it would stun them a lot. Up here where I'm protected ish. too much about them crossing the water there, hopefully. I do have some flying units, but it seem worse. I'm 49. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Maybe it'll bait out the enemy to waste a heal spell on them, though. That's the best thing I can hope for. What's the news from... That's the folks who make The Witcher, right? See Project Red. Yes, move right in front of my characters. Do that, enemy soldiers. Someone tried to blackmail them? That's messed up. So they're gonna just announce it early. Okay, let's try Geno Flame. Yeah, okay. Only one human target, but pretty good regardless. We haven't actually had an opportunity to kill one of their humans for a while. They keep running away. Wisely, but... You missed. Sucks to be you. Get further around the back there and try a holy word. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That hits every enemy on the map. Oh, that feels good. So it's correct. My succubus can probably finish finish off the red elementalist guy. I hope. Oh man, she's at low health too. Yeah, 
Ladies are waiting for me. I must be going. Striking staff. I should see if you could equip that. This game technically has equipment, but it's kind of hard to get your hand on it. Hands on it. Uh, I can't quite reach her. What about the venom? Aha! I don't think it's be enough to kill her. Curse would have been if I had been a square closer. She did get poisoned though, so it helps a little bit. Might be able to get it. Let's see. Holy words, does it reach? It does. So that's not enough to kill her, but we're still in a situation where she might die in her turn due to poison damage. Nice. This totally sucks. <laughs> uh freaking Dean. You so silly. We captured a Griffith, which I'm probably not gonna use. Oh wow, all right, well, I guess Orange probably took some losses in doing that. We're getting there. We're almost to the point where we have, we've surrounded Orange and Purple. We gotta take these two castles here. Um, let me save first. These things are going well, knock on wood. Curious to what extent, like, you are really moving through and setting garrisons if you do this, or you have, like, a separate army that's kind of trailing behind and occupying spaces with a conquering force in the front. Uh, let's see. Oh, these guys are super weak. They have no monsters. Oh, that's fantastic. They might be able to summon some monsters before their next turn, but still. I guess I could try to come at them from both sides. Probably don't want to fight a war on two fronts though. Well, I've got the units to try it. Hmm. Some Vayner and Charlene and Wing Lane down there. Their monsters aren't particularly good though, is the problem. Yeah, and the characters they have in this castle are actually pretty good. How long did it take Bravely Default? It was after they had a, like a second version of the game, right? None of those are good. Anybody can class up just yet? Weapons are too expensive. Two five. Got the striking staff. Attack plus ten. Don't know if that affects magic damage, probably not. Alright, so maybe it's just that only the human characters can use those. In case they ever have to punch somebody, they can find somebody else to get it to later. I wonder if that's really going to be a thing, if games aren't going to get localized because of the Switch being region free. There are not enough good translators of anything anywhere. I believe that. Alright, so let me reorganize my Pokemon here. So sure, it'd be nice to have a button to just like dump all of them at once, you know? Let's try to make a decent like 
second group. Each has a few angels spread between them. Oh, I didn't realize that was Atlas. That does a tree now to see. Must explain why there's the Etrian Odyssey persona across every game. Right? It's kind of janky. Actually, not sure how many monsters we can have total in the castle. But about to find out. Oh shit, looks like it's not limited. Right on. Fortunately there's not like an auto sort button. Nice then. Basically, my whole army is on this castle right now, so it would probably be, behoove me to give them uh, units that make sense. I'd probably give everyone one angel. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Orin is our strongest character, so let's give him all these angels level 1, I think they are. Yeah. So let's give him an angel, and what else? Try giving him two angels, he's got room for 20 more points or something. Alright, 27 points technically. Which is pretty much just a giga squirt. My druid is level 12, which is also pretty good, so let's give them a couple of angels. Oh, we need to have more grunt characters, so why don't we do one angel and then a bunch of uh, wizard men. That's getting pretty close to capacity. That guy's level 10. That's where I 13 though, soon, right? do the same thing with Blizzard Men. Ooh, just barely over capacity with that. That's better. Angel. Giga Scorp. Mandragora. Cost 15. It's really okay. Alright, let's just give everybody else at least one unit. Although, hold on, what am I the difference here? 15, so I can make those all wizard men. Everyone else gets one angel and a bunch of other miscellaneous crap. Every boss fight by looking panic on him. And I guess the reason that that's legal is because in Etrian Odyssey, uh, status effects are actually useful. So they wanted to keep that system in place, more or less. Hitting exactly the unit requirement. Satisfying. Fortunately, these things kind of suck. Clay golems. What are you going to do? Oh, 
feels much more balanced than what I had before. Now that all that is done, you can start moving some of them. Um, I don't need to worry too much, I think, about having an amazing garrison. So I'm probably going to send three higher level people up to defend the castle that I'm covering right now. You like the clicking sound? Sorry. <laughs> So I don't need to send anyone to garrison this castle, so I can hold them here for now. It should be okay, because it's up against two enemies, so... Let me save... That whole thing would have made, been made a lot simpler if there was like a unequip all monsters button, but... I guess you end up doing that fairly infrequently, like completely redoing everybody in a given area. I guess I should have had some of these people quest since they're not doing anything else. I'll do it next turn. Get new characters that way. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Baby, 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 baby. Alarine Castle. Bagdemagus. It's a pretty cool name. Hey, I'm gonna crush you. Lotus Juice, the rapper guy. choice on the part of the enemy he ran away before we can get close enough. Let's just look at like our uh, lineup and be like, yeah, no, I'm good. That ain't happening. Poor mer person. Find a replacement for him. Did they all just run away? I guess they left one unit behind. Wow, poor Amelia gun. Having kind of a bad day, huh? I think blocks. <laughs> Dig the unintelligible singer. Well, that was a battle. <laughs> the AI just decided to run. I guess that's a legit strategy. To get a bunch of XP for free as a result. Alright, we only have one castle left to take, and then we have the entire world surrounded, which is cool. 
We haven't won at that point, but we're getting closer to winning. Fortunately, New Almechia Orange has this lone castle over here in the center. Hopefully purple will, like, try to deal with that shit so I don't have to push in there and do it myself. Alright, this is, like, all of their units here. So... We got the cement in this castle. Nothing good. Eh? So I can send people questing then. Um, who we are quest with? To my not highest level characters. Let me dequest Daffy, super buff. Memory card, not. If that's just a literal translation or something, I don't know. Really silly. Oh shit! They're kind of coming back from purple there. Interesting. is a capital M. In about uh, seven minutes we're going to switch to the next sub-block game, which today is Okami. We're going to be doing some side quests in the capital city that I missed in my main playthrough. Propagable, you might have to help me find my way back to the capital city. I haven't played it in so long, I honestly don't remember where I'm going. Although I guess if we just wander around aimlessly in Okami, we'll get to hear some really pretty music and see some pretty, really pretty graphics, so I'll we'll be for not. Best shot. I need to get more Okami, right? Game is super good. Played it pretty early in my streaming career. It was pre voting spreadsheet. It's gonna go up on the vodcast really soon. Sweet. We lost together. All this is made possible by Pass Marstead making a secondary save file because there's a point of no return in Okami. Once you go through it, you're basically on the path to the final boss fight and you can't do any more exploration. But apparently, Pass Marstead said, oh, I should make an extra save just in case. Usually ridiculous, there's basically no reason to do that in any game ever. <laughs> yeah. You can point me to the secret if we get to <clears throat> if we can find our way back to the capital city. Actually I don't even remember if that game has uh what's going on in my phone right now. If there's like a fast travel system or something. Yeah, right. Good job, fast march then. Good looking out. I really gotta replace that mer person. He doesn't do anything. Oh, is that a high level evil unicorn? That's pretty cool. Sounds right. 
None of those are human enemies. She can probably hit some human enemies though, right? Oh yeah. That looks great. Do that. Drawing an X in the suit. Yes. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I'm probably going to forget all the different abilities you have. <laughs> well, that'll be fun. I'll probably spend about 45 minutes remembering how to play Okami and 15 minutes seeing stuff. But it'll be great. It's going to be awesome, don't worry. It should sell the game for you because it's such a cool game. It's one of the coolest Zelda games ever made that's not actually called Zelda. Really, really well made. It has one of my favorite art styles, I think, in the history of gaming, too. Glossary and menu. Okay, I'll try to check that. I remember the bomb. Slash one. Probably not going to get to cast twice, so I may as well just do Venom and get rid of this thing. Since it's fairly cheap. Dargon. See if I'm close enough to use Curse with the Succubus against the Barbarian guy. It'd be really nice. Really high damage if I recall correctly. Oh shit. Just out of range for it. Maybe he'll move in closer next turn though. Oh, that's right. I remember that now. There they go. Has always been able to get away. I guess I could try to kill his ads before they run, but that might actually be possible and reasonable. Let's try that instead. He's gonna run on his next turn, no matter what happens. May as well reduce the number of monsters he has available to him in his next castle, right? Get ahead. Poor merman. I think I timestamped Okami. I remember doing it on the plane, although I may have done the final episodes of it. Cool, yeah, it's perfect timing for a battle to end. We can save on the organized screen. Control the perimeter. Help people in need. Well, see you later. Face goes pale. What do you mean that's all? Mother on her deathbed? This is from questing, I think. We'll be helping the people. Your stupidity is the only thing that's grown. What you say? I might have to save state here rather than save since I think I triggered like six quests.
this is how you get a bunch of new party members. Leader characters. Rune Knights. Thank you. She's actually dying. That's sad. Sheridan doesn't deserve her. But I do need him as a warrior. He joined! Hooray! Everything is fine. Nothing is ruined. Okay, so it is going to let me actually save. Good. I was worried. It was going to be like, there's no way that I'm going to remember in the future next time we play Brigandine to load a save state instead of a save game. Maybe it only returns one quest per you know, segment so that you're not getting overloaded with those. Try actually save. Bought it from a GameStop? How much did you play it, Corn? I like it a lot. It's actually it's the Grand Edition, which was a re-release in Japan that got a uh, English localization fan patch. It was the easiest way for me to play it. Because it's kind of hard to find the original copy. Recommend it though if you like the game. Alright, next up is Okami. Give me a few minutes to switch. Brigandine will probably return. I think Sanguine Hayes uh, intends on keeping it on his sub block. <laughs> 